Hi, I'm Dr. Gardner, and tonight I wanted to talk with you about parvovirus. It is a virus that typically young puppies will get. They are more susceptible to it, and it attacks rapidly dividing cells, including those of the GI tract and the bone marrow. Symptoms of it are usually lethargy, they're very tired, vomiting, they don't want to eat, so they're anorexic, and they do typically have diarrhea, oftentimes it's bloody. And unvaccinated puppies and older unvaccinated dogs are more at risk, but puppies usually get significantly sicker and there is a very serious risk of them dying from it. Usually when they are puppies, they get a series of vaccines. The parvovirus vaccination is included in what is typically referred to as the distemper vaccine. And it's usually a series of four. So they get three when they're very young, then they get one at one year old, and then every three years after that. If your dog does contract parvovirus, which they can get very easily from the environment, it's a very stable vaccine. So they can get it from other dogs' feces. They can get it from other dogs' toys that are infected. They can get it at other locations where other dogs have been, parks and things like that. So if they do contract it, a lot of dogs will end up not doing very well. It can cause death or they will wind up in the hospital. And hospitalization typically involves isolation, which is I think is very tough on, on dogs. And they'll be there from anywhere from four days to 10 days. And they usually need intravenous antibiotics for secondary infections. And it is a very serious disease and it also can end up being very costly to treat upwards of $15,000. So I do encourage everyone to vaccinate their puppies for parvovirus. And there are titers available after that, after they've gotten to at least the one year mark. But natural immunity to parvovirus is something that I would <laughs> not chance because I do think that a lot of dogs can wind up very, very sick from it. So I hope that this is helpful. Next time I'm gonna talk about the distemper vaccine and the distemper disease. And I welcome any questions or comments. I would love to hear from you and I will see you next time.